Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious smoked sausage smothered in a creole gravy over rice. Now, there's a couple of great things about this dish. It's affordable. It's simple to put together. And you can add add-ons like chicken, shrimp, or even ground beef to make the dish stretch. Not only that, it serves quite a few people. This recipe, you can get about 8 to 10 servings. It's a simple, easy one-pot meal, savory, and absolutely delicious. So what I pray to do, let's get started. All right, here's all you need to make your smoked sausage and creole gravy over rice. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need two pounds of smoked sausage. You can use any other type of smoked sausage if you like for this recipe, okay? And along with that, you will need some tomato paste, you can use any type of long grain rice. I'm using jasmine rice, salted butter, and for your seasonings, you will need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use these Adirondack's Creole seasoning or the Sapi Mama Cajun seasoning. You also need some Chef Paul Podom's Poetry Magic. And for your additional seasonings, you will need one yellow onion, celery, green bell pepper, garlic, some dried basil, dried thyme dried oregano, some dried parsley, and some bay leaves. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So I'm going to get started by chopping up half of a yellow onion. Next, I'm going to rinse off my celery and my bell pepper off with cold water. Chop two ribs of celery and half of a green bell pepper. Here I have two cloves of garlic. I cut them in half. Here I have a garlic press and I'm going to press the garlic. And there we go. Next I'm going to chop two pounds of D&D smoked sausage. Remember you can also use any other type of smoked sausage for this recipe. Okay, let's get started with making our Creole gravy base. So in this large glass bowl, add 18 ounces in weight. This is three six ounce cans of the tomato paste. Add that in there. And to that, I'm going to add three cups of water. I'm going to take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together. Start off very slowly with stirring the ingredients with the whisk. As the mixture starts to come together, you increase speed with your whisk and continue to stir until the ingredients are combined. Now let's add some seasoning. We're going to add all the seasonings in here so that way when we cook the dish, we won't add any additional seasonings. We'll just add it all into the pot and cook it down and go from there. First things first. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a half to one teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Poetry Magic, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of dried basil, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, a half a teaspoon of dried parsley, and to cut the acid of the tomato, Add three teaspoons of sugar and five bay leaves. I'm going to take my whisk and stir all the ingredients together until combined. Preheat your fire to medium heat. Let's get started with searing our smoked sausage. So in this large saucepan, I let it get hot for about two minutes. Add your chopped smoked sausage. Give this a quick stir. Let this saute for six minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about six minutes now for our smoked sausage. As you can see, it's cooked down and has a lot of grease build up there. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off. Here I have a strainer with a small 8 by 8 inch bacon pan underneath it to catch the drippings. Add your smoked sausage into the strainer. 
and shake the strainer so that way the pan drippings can drip into the pan underneath it. And from there, we're going to set this on the side until we're ready to add it into our Creole gravy. So let's get started with that. Preheat your fire to medium heat. Let's get started with making our Creole sauce. So in this large saucepan, as you can see, I left a very small amount of the pan juices from the smoked sausage in there. And I let the saucepan get hot for about one to two minutes. Add four tablespoons of salted butter. Spread the butter around your saucepan. Let the butter melt. Let's add some seasoning. Add one and one fourth cups of chopped yellow onion, a half a cup of chopped celery, and a half a cup of chopped green bell pepper. Stir all your ingredients together. Let this saute for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. It's been about 10 minutes now. Add your two cloves of pressed garlic and your Creole tomato base. Stir all your ingredients together. I'm going to cover this. Let this simmer for four minutes, stirring occasionally. It's been about four minutes now. At this point, what you're gonna do is you're not going to open the lid, turn your fire off or turn it down to the lowest setting and wait for about one minute. Then you lift the lid off your saucepan. Add your chopped smoked sausage. And to make this dish stretch even more, you can add a pound of chicken or shrimp right on in there. Stir all your ingredients together. I'm going to cover this. Now at this point, you're gonna turn your fire back up to medium heat. Let this simmer for four minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about eight minutes total cooking time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. Do not open your lid to your saucepan. Wait about one to two minutes until the simmering goes down. Then you lift the lid off your saucepan. And from there, our smoked sausage smothered in Creole gravy is done. Now for some quick tips. Let this cool for one hour before serving. And here's another tip for the Creole gravy. Instead of adding water, you can replace that water with chicken stock or shrimp stock just in case if you're adding the chicken or the shrimp in there. Or if not, you can just leave it as is. And of course, for best results, you can serve this the very next day so that way the flavors can settle and increase overnight. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with parboiling our rice. Now this is one of several different ways on how to cook rice. So in this medium sized four quart pot, I've added one and one half quarts of water. And to that, I'm going to add one and one half cups of rice. Stir all your ingredients together. Let this simmer for seven minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, it's been about seven minutes now. You wanna make sure that you taste your rice to see if it's at your desired texture. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. Add your rice into this mesh strainer and rinse the rice off with cold water. Let the rice set for about 15 to 30 minutes. And after that, the rice is ready to be served. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Smoked sausage smothered in Creole gravy over rice made by a New Orleans native. You can find this recipe along with all of my other recipes at www.charliecookandrews.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Now I'm gonna go ahead and taste test this. See how it is. Mmm. Mmm, yes. Ooh. This is really, really good. It has a wonderful smoked sausage flavor, and that smoked sausage actually give it a little kick. I mean, <clears throat> clean my throat here, you know. Um, it is really, really good. It has just the right amount of seasoning, simple, easy, savory, and delicious one-pot dish.
So, give it a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.